Tonight, how two area women are making a difference in the world, one diaper at a time. For about a year now, Anne Hinkfoos and Stephanie Bowers have been collecting cloth diapers. They donate most of them to needy babies around the world living in poorer countries. Some also go to families in the U.S. Tonight, we check in and see that their journey has already gone farther than they expected. I think we would have been too overwhelmed if we knew what it was leading us to. It's way beyond more than what we thought. Anne Hinkfoos of Appleton is one half of a two-person team that created Jake's Diapers. It's a cloth diaper collection effort that helps babies in need worldwide. It's just amazing to think that a year ago we were just going to work with that one small orphanage that Anne went back to in Peru a few weeks ago and how it's just gone so much farther. Stephanie Bowers of Greenleaf is the other half of the team. Together the women have helped hundreds of babies across the world. Take a look at just some of their pictures. These are from a recent trip to Peru and the orphanage that started it all. During this second visit, they were able to donate about 150 diapers to the facility. They've also sent diapers to the Congo in Africa and to Guatemala, where they say families are living near garbage dump sites. Now the two are working on sending baby supplies to even more places in need, like Latvia, New Guinea, and Haiti. One cloth diaper, one child, one orphanage, one at a time, and it all adds up. I feel that we're blessed to be a blessing. The effort is called Jake's Diapers, and it was named after this little guy. And as he has certainly grown through the years, take a look, so has their ministry. What started out as a little tiny idea has just basically just, it's a hobby gone wild. Big boxes of donated supplies, mainly cloth diapers, are piled in Bauer's basement. The women are also collecting other helpful items like formula, bottles and blankets, and sewing supplies. We've been able to take different donations of time, talent, and treasures and match them up with different needs. In all, the women say they've helped to donate 1,500 cloth diapers. It's just a wonderful feeling that we can make a difference. We're just two regular women from Northeast Wisconsin, and we just have a passion for making a difference, and that's where we're going. They are so nonchalant about it. They say they get help from family, friends, and their church, but it is incredible what these two women have been able to do. And if you know of someone or something that is making a difference, email us and let us know about it. The address is fox11news at wluk.com.